to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen it is another beautiful Monday morning. It is definitely a cold one out here this morning. I was having a hard time starting my truck this morning. That's for sure because I am not allowed to have my uh, APU unit idling at night. So I have to uh, started up in the morning and I let it idle for about 45 minutes and then I started my truck but she was just barely turning over it was a tough one and by the way guys they have finally fixed this gate up here see that now we finally got a gate that's right <clears throat> But anyways, it was cold. It was like minus 28 Celsius. And uh, I did the calculation that was uh, a little more than minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was quite cold this morning. And that was not even with the windshield yet. That was without the windshield. Yep. See that truck right there at the to the right there? There in the yard? How uh, blue it's smoking. That's what my truck was doing this morning too. Because it's so cold. Meters. Turn left I on. think it's using Main a little Street. oil when Highway it's so 52. cold, you know. And then slide drive in 200 meters. That's right. But we are leaving the yard now. And uh, if you guys remember me a couple of days ago, well, I guess Saturday. I was uh, washing the truck, right? And I was washing there by the fifth wheel a little bit and stuff like that too. And uh, this morning I was having a hard time with my fifth wheel not wanting to lock. Everything was frozen in there, so that definitely wasn't the best idea. But hey, the truck was super dirty, so I needed to wash it. So. Well, we managed to get it locked. Had to take the hammer and uh, give it a few good uh, bangs with the hammer there, so that way the ice would break. And then I uh, had to back underneath it, and it still wouldn't lock, and I had to give it another few bangs with the hammer, and then finally it locked. And I did uh, about three or four, maybe even five truck tests just to make sure that it actually locked properly I did uh, I had to slide the axle a little bit so I did a few tuck tests that way and then on top of it I went on to the asphalt there uh, in the yard we got a little strip of asphalt there and then I did a couple more tuck tests in there just to make sure I drove around the yard a little bit and we hope we cross our fingers that the fifth wheel is finally locked properly so that would be scary losing that trailer oh my yeah this is oats that I'm hauling that's expensive stuff too you know so I always make sure that I do a tug test when I hook up to the trailer and I you know I didn't suspect that I was going to be moving forward you know because I went underneath there with quite a bit of a force give it a good bang because I suspected that it was probably yeah, going to be uh, uh, you know frozen solid so uh, I already tried to prevent that you know or, or make it happen you know give it a good kick and that way maybe the ice would break free but no way it would not so we have to give it a bang with the hammer but we managed to get it and that's all that matters so far so good so uh, I greased the fifth wheel there a little bit there at the yard we have a, a grease bucket where we can grab a little bit of grease and I put a little bit of grease on the fifth wheel. I think everything 
a little smoother too, you know. But we are on the way to Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where we're off to right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's not bad of a trip. The only problem is, uh, well, they kind of gave me a little too much, in my opinion, of time. But then again, you never know, right? So we uh, we have a lot of time to get there. So I didn't leave right away in the morning today, but uh, still early enough, you know. I didn't even. My opinion, I, I really only needed to leave this afternoon, but ah, it's 10.15 right now, so we're only to be, the, to be delivering there on the uh, 14th, which is Thursday, so uh, we are definitely uh, not much in a rush, but uh, whatever. At least we are on the way and that way it gives me a little time you know uh, we don't need to rush so much just take her easy and drive a few hours every day and we will get there <laughs> but anyways let's continue on down the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic day thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog and let's make it a fantastic show today good day sir good morning, oh pretty good i remember you you remember me? Yeah, he inspected me last year. Well, last year wasn't all that long ago. No, it was only a couple a week ago. A little over. Yeah. When? Uh, when's the last time you looked at? Yeah, I do believe I have it in here, but that's been a few months ago. That was been a couple months ago. Yeah. 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 yeah let's have a look here. Oh, that's been a quite a while ago, actually, on 0427. 15. <laughs> wow. I still keep the copies where you inspected me. Okay. Okay. Well, if you're lucky, Dee, I'll be All right. you again. Okay. Uh, driver's license, log sure. book, and registration. I guess you don't <laughs> want to keep this on. All right, there's my driver's license, and uh, that is today's log, and I will go to the back and get the uh, rest of the this month's log. You need more than uh, to this month's uh, logs, or? No, it's the right. I need this previous seven as all. Well. Yeah, the, they're all in there, so. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I need some information off the truck before yeah. I'm going to enter it. And... No problem. All right. Yeah, leave the door open for me if you would. Go ahead, turn the key on. And push both your buttons in here. Go. All right. Give me a brake application, hold it. No, no, no. Alright, release. Go ahead, pump her down until the light comes on. Good. Go ahead, start the truck. Okay. Put your frost on. Okay. That was good on the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to check for is one of the fifth wheels. So just a little tug on your trailer. Yeah. up here. Okay. Need to see them? No, it's not a sir. All right. How many got in there? I got three in there. Okay. Good and I got my fire chain shares in the side there and you just gotta right. open. I don't want to see. You don't want to see it? No, I do want to see okay. it. Okay. 
glass of Basically, no violations. All right, that sounds awesome. You know, I was up here last Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I think I only looked at one Penner truck. You guys must mainly come through on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, I suppose. I have no idea what they normally do, but even though the traffic was much slower, yeah, the end of the week, yeah, I was finding a lot more violations. Oh, really? Normally, normally especially Thursday and Friday, because we're normally a lot of times we're not up here Thursday and Friday. Oh, yeah. What are some of the companies that you find? That have the most violations. The companies? Yeah. I can't say. Oh yeah, I yeah. Okay. Say. All right. Not allowed to. Yeah, yeah. All right. But, all right. Thank you, sir. You got it. Have a safe trip. Yep. Alrighty, guys and gals, we are now officially in the United States of America. And as you can see, it's been snowing a little bit. Yeah, it started just as I was pulling up to the border there, and. Uh, then the DOT was sitting there, and as you guys probably saw, we got inspected. Yeah, no violations were uh, indicated or found, whatever you want to call it. So we are in good shape. That's right. A tap on the shoulder for me, right? At least that's what I think, or I like to think. Yeah. Well, we tried to, you know, do our job, you know. I mean, they didn't do a full glass inspection. They only did a level two, which means they do uh, paperwork, all your information, like your license, everything, registration, your bill of lading. They check all of that, and then they uh, they check your lights, all of your lights. They check your tires. He made me disconnect the, the airlines from the trailer and then he made me do a tug test he looked at my fuel tank because sometimes uh, guys will run the former diesel which you're not allowed to run on the highway so he looked at that everything was good so we got a clean inspection again that's fantastic that's another uh, inspection that i can say that i have passed first time this year so far I was kind of surprised though that he was sitting there, you know, because uh, it's literally cold out here, you know, and uh, I, you know, I didn't expect him to be sitting out there, but hey, you never know when they have, when they can be there, you know, it, uh, you can get inspected any time of the day, any, anywhere, you know, so you got to be prepared for that, and so we, uh, you know, we, uh, we were. We definitely were prepared for him. We done our logbook and uh, he looked at all of that and uh, said everything is good, right? So, uh, anyways, we'll continue on with our journey. I guess uh, we will make a pit stop here maybe a little bit later in uh, Swan River, Minnesota. I kind of like that little uh, truck stop there, you know. They got a nice little restaurant in there, and I like to go eat in there. They got a chicken Alfredo that I really enjoy. I had it quite a few times already over there, so I'll probably go in there and have me a, a bite to eat. I haven't really eaten anything today, other than a couple of chocolates, that's it. But, uh, yeah, so we definitely got inspected today. Oh, well. The good thing about it is that we passed, that's all that matters, right? And uh, that makes it worthwhile when you do a proper pre-trip inspection in the morning. And then you know everything worked. You don't have to worry about it. You're good to go. That's worthwhile for me. Yeah. Anyways, enough of that. How was your weekend? Did you guys all have a fantastic weekend? As you guys probably saw, I did have a fantastic weekend. I had me a nice little barbecue that one day when I come back. 
guys here we are in Swan River Minnesota we are gonna do a little bit of a walk around and do a little bit of a check of everything make sure our tires are good and our lights are clean I'm pretty sure my lights are gonna be pretty plugged up pretty plugged up is a little different story I think I think so what do you guys think anybody know where my lights are <laughs> Let's put my one glove on. Let's give it a try anyways. See if I can without well without blocking your view. So let's clean this up. Oh boy, that's where my lights are. Wow. Now that's just from about three and a quarter, three and three quarter hours worth of driving. Yeah. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> I didn't think they were plugged up that bad, but I guess that's what it is. That's where my license plate is supposed to be hiding somewhere. License plate is supposed to be visible. That's what we got told there a while back ago, right? That's what I thought. There we go. Clean this all out and make sure our lights are visible. That's no good for somebody that comes from behind us and can't see the lights, right? At least that's my opinion. Look at that. Oh, well, that's good visible. I think I'm gonna go grab me a hammer and we'll smack them right there. And uh, we'll see if we can get that snow off over there. But we'll go ahead and continue on our check. Looks like our tires are all filled yet. So anyways, we'll go ahead and take care of some business here and then we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Already, already, ladies and gentlemen, we have had our pit stop here in Swan River, Minnesota. Yeah. As I was doing my, uh, well, you know, walk around and all that, I saw, that, well, there was another Penner's uh, truck parked over there. And I walked in and uh, I kind of knew him. I don't really know him personally, but uh, I met up with him somewhere before. And so, uh, and he started talking to me right away and uh, he told me that he had uh, accidentally locked his keys in his truck and for some odd reason he uh, the uh, store up here did not have one of them hooks to uh, unhook locked doors right and so we started was talking there for a little bit and all that 
I thought, you know what, let's go have a look at it. He walked outside and he went to his truck and he was going to see what he could do. And so I walked over and I started looking around and sure enough, they do have them there. So I walked back to him and I told him, I said, hey, they do have them there. He said, really? He said, he even asked the lady and they, they said, no, they don't have them. And so he came back in and he bought one and uh, he was working on it for a little while and all of a sudden he was able to open up his door. There you go, being a good Samaritan. <laughs> well, I don't know if that classifies as a good Samaritan, but whatever, I helped him out, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, it took a little bit of my time, but hey, one of our fellow drivers, and it wouldn't have mattered if it was from uh, from our company, I'd probably done the same thing if it wasn't, uh, wasn't one of our drivers, you know, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, sometimes you gotta help somebody, you know. Sometimes the store uh, person in there doesn't all know what they all sell in there either, you know. I've experienced that before. So, uh, anyways, main thing is he was able to open up his door. And uh, he's on his way again. He's ahead of me now. I left there a few minutes after he did, so... I was just finished uh, eating inside the restaurant there uh, when he managed to open up his door so by the time I was done eating and getting outside he was gone so so now he's ahead of me and that's good but as you can see it's starting to get dark yeah that's right it's starting to get dark and it's been snowing as you saw earlier on the earlier clip that my lights were completely covered. I knocked a lot of snow off. I went and grabbed my hammer and I got the side curtains on the bottom of the trailer, right? Oh man, there was a lot of snow on there. Even on the rails that are underneath the trailer, there's a lot of snow hanging off of there. So I wouldn't be surprised if I got a couple of hundred pounds worth of snow hanging underneath my trailer, but hopefully that's not going to be enough to where I'm going to be overweight. I mean, I do have... Uh, well, I do have about 4,000 pounds that I can carry more than what I'm at, but uh, hey, you know, I don't really want that weight on my tractor trailer. Especially going across the scale. Could be overweight, right? You could give me an overweight ticket. We don't want to ruin our perfect day today. We got inspected, we passed, but we don't want to ruin that, right? <laughs> Yeah, anyways, let's continue on with our show here. And uh, I guess we won't be able to show you too much after this clip because, uh, well, it'll be dark, right? Won't be much to see. But we got a, I don't know how far it is up to Superior from here really, but uh, I'll probably just go up to Superior tonight and then call it a day. Maybe if I feel real good, maybe I'll go a little bit further. Maybe, yeah, because there's a truck stop about 45 minutes south of uh, Superior. So maybe I'll just go up to there. There's usually plenty of room in there. So maybe I'll just make my way down there and see what we'll be able to see today from here to there. So well, we got a uh, scale ahead of us too, actually. So we'll see what they all do today. With that being said, let's continue on. Let's get on down the road. Well, guys, we are done for today. We are at a rest area about half an hour before the 94. Yeah, so we are calling it done for today. And it is time to go to bed. So <clears throat> my voice is a little bit cranky this evening, but uh, whatever. We're going to go to bed and hopefully get a good night's sleep. So we'll uh, be back tomorrow. So stick around and we'll see you then. Have a good one, everybody. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.